The BCSPCA's mandate is to protect and enhance the quality of life for all animals, which includes educating the public about respecting our four-legged and feathered friends, and what better age to start than with the very young. V. Cooper explains. If pets could talk, what do you think they would say? Brianna McDonald is the BC SPCA's humane educator. Gee, I could use a walk. The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals offers various community programs, volunteers teaching compassion and respect for animals. We don't want to tease animals because they have feelings just like us. We don't like it when we're teased, right? So do you think animals would like it if they're teased? Yeah. Using books and puppets. Now do you think it's a good idea if I hold my mouse like this? McDonald has these kindergarten students enthralled. We are going to treat these mice as if they're real mice, okay? Uh, if we have kids that are allergic or scared of animals, we can do it just with the puppets that we saw today. We have big life-size stuffed dogs and um, kittens and cats and rabbits. What might she do if she's saying, no, thank you, I don't want to be a pet today? But the visit really kicks into high gear when Kinnan is introduced. So we're going to tuck those fingers in, let Kinnan sniff. Kids are different than adults. Animals are really good at figuring out our crazy language that we just expect them to know, um, but kids act in a different way, so it's really important for the, the kids to learn how, what animals are telling them so they can learn when to back off. Right under the chest. They just get overwhelmed with enthusiasm, and it's really neat to see, but it's just teaching them to self-regulate. Staying standing, that's perfect. What did you learn? You put your hand out, let the dog sniff, and if it licks you, then you can pet the dog. You pet it, you pet it slowly. You pet them gently. You have to ask the owner first. What if the dog, you came up to the dog and it went... Then it means you couldn't pet it. Can I say hi? Oh, I think it was so amazing to see how the kids responded to Kinnan and when they learned how to be kind to animals that translate into ways to be kind to one another in our classroom. So it was really neat to see them make those connections. Let her sniff you. And to spread the knowledge too. Part of the thing about talking to kids is that not only do you get that generation, you get their parents as well. Good job, guys. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.